say, I absolutely love it. And uh, I'm excited to get all this shop trash out of here so we'll have room for more stuff for more projects. We got some, uh, some copper wire in this bucket as well. We got a, a trash can full of aluminum strapped to the other side of this truck. And in the words of Seth, we're one lawn chair for grandma away from going full Beverly Hillbillies with this load. But we're gonna try to take it slow because you know there's not much left to the give on the suspension of this thing. I think everything will be fine. The body's really sturdy. It's got a 7,000 pound axle, just the springs on it are a little undersized for the capacity of everything else. So fingers crossed, we're taking the back roads and uh, yeah, let's do it. So we're officially on the road and things are going pretty well. I can feel the weight of that trailer back there. It actually pushes the truck a little bit until the uh, until the until the surge breaks on that trailer engage. So we got that. I got part of a barbecue behind my seat here, and uh, yeah, fairly optimistic for this. Hope we don't have too many issues. I'm a little nervous about going to the uh, scrapyard, however, because I'm kind of paranoid about tires now. Uh, three or four weeks ago, I was just driving through downtown Fort Worth, minding my own business. Uh, I was in my personal truck and, uh, <laughs> and just cruising along. <laughs> and, uh, and there's a loud boom and in the right side of the truck is six inches in the air. And long story short, I managed to hit something on the side of the road and it destroyed both tires on that side of the truck. Just absolutely shredded them. I was gonna go back and figure out what it was, but I uh, didn't really wanna bother. By the time I was done with the guys at the tire shop, I just wanted to go home. Uh, but yeah, the tire guy said that that sort of thing does happen, but it's not very common. The only time he's seen it happen is when some guy hit a ladder going down the highway, like a ladder fell off someone else's truck and this guy hit it, blew all four tires on his truck just like that. And uh, so yeah, hopefully we don't get any holes in, any, in anything from the place. Yeah, we're taking it slow because there is a lot of weight in that trailer, but it looks like it's taking it like a champ. The trailer is pulling smooth as silk. All that weight sure works to flatten out the bumps. That's all we were on. What a pain. It's almost as though I specifically bought a very large vehicle. So I wouldn't have to do this anymore. Oh yes. Glorious magnitude. or something for that it was 3,700 pounds of material so I figured I could safely put about uh, 3,000 pounds of stuff in that trailer and so we were a little bit on the far side of that but like I said it was really squatting with those stock springs I would do what the internet told me to which is to stick around 3,000 pounds but that's honestly not bad that's less than half the capacity of the uh, of what the axle can take and um, 244 bucks for literal trash out of the shop. Can't complain too much. So I'm happy about that. Gonna wolf down a sandwich and uh, and then it's time to make some more videos for you guys. 